Caitlin meets a knight of House Frey with a group of men at arms at the inn at the crossroads and asks after Lord Walder's health. The knight replies that Lord Walder is well and is planning to celebrate his 90th birthday by taking a new wife. Tyrion laughs derisively at the news, making enemies of this group. When Robb Stark's army arrives at the Twins on its march south, Robb needs to cross the river to gain a tactical advantage over the Lannister forces. As a Tully bannerman, Walder Frey had been called up, but he had delayed going until he saw which side had the advantage. Now that Riverrun is besieged by the Lannisters, Frey wonders why he should risk their fury. Caitlin tells Rob that Walder Frey is slippery and not to be trusted, despite his allegiance to her father. Fearing that Walder would attempt to imprison Rob and sell him to the Lannisters, Caitlin volunteers to negotiate with him, despite the warnings of Rob, Roderick Castle, Great John Umber, and Theon, stating that she has known Walder since childhood. Upon entering the twins, Caitlin finds Walder and his vast brood of sons, grandsons, and bastards. Although two of his sons, Stevron and Ryger, respectfully remind their father to remember his courtesies to Caitlin, her being the daughter of their liege lord, Walder agrees to Caitlin's request to dismiss them, including his new 15 year old wife, Joya's Frey, while they negotiate. An alliance is formed. In return for permission to cross in the service of Walder's troops, Rob will marry one of Walder's daughters or granddaughters, whichever he likes. Additionally, Arya, when recovered, will marry Walder's son Waldron. Rob must also take another son, Olivar Frey, as a squire. Rob consents to the match, even after his mother indicates that Walder's daughters are not particularly attractive. 